Welcome to our TV show, Fox Kids. About about much ado about nothing but the tooth. Much ado about nothing. This group's name is the Fantabulous Traveling Five. And can you each say your name? Tommy Clifford. Your real name? Tommy. Tommy. Matt. Hannah. Kate. Robin. And I'm Emily Anderson. And we're going to snap out these students. They'll be back in a moment. So I wanted to give a little recap of our previous show, um, which was to kick off at the Bridging Flynn Amazingness Project that we're doing this year. Usually with the Bridging Program, uh, the groups that are in Community Connections film something. In the past, it's been something about what they're doing in their pod group. Last year, it was about the citizen, the good citizen challenges that they were taking. And this year, we decided to focus these shows on what we're doing with the Flynn. We have an amazing collaboration this year that was funded by the Vermont Arts Council. And in our previous show, when everyone from the bridging program came in September, we did a whole show just devoted to kicking off that project. So we had Mike Riley, who's the, the uh, development coordinator at CCS, come and talk about our great relationship with the Flynn. We had Lauren Genta, who's from the Flynn, talk about the six shows that we're seeing this year and our work with two uh, uh, Flynn teaching artists. So now that we have seen a couple shows, we're back, I'm back with the Fantabulous Traveling Five to talk about the show we just saw, Much Ado About Nothing. So we are working with two Flynn teaching artists. Last year we worked with Rose Bedard, who is back again working with us when we're, whenever we go to see a dance piece. And last year we worked with Mark Stein, who got another job. And so we were really wondering who might be the teaching artist who works with us. And Annalisa came. So Annalisa, it is wonderful that you're here and working with us. And um, so some of the students have prepared some questions for you. So we're, I think, unless you'd like to say anything. No, just happy to be here and working with you guys. Yeah, we're so happy to be working with you. Um, without further ado, then I'll call in the first uh, person who has a question for you, who I think is Thomas. So let's snap him in. Welcome, Thomas. So do you have a question for Annalisa? How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Do you like, do you like snow? I do like snow, it, although it's a little surprising to have this much snow in the beginning of November. <laughs> November 2017. Yeah, that was uh, a couple years ago. Coco, November 22nd, 2017. Thomas, Annalise asked you a question. How are you? Annalise, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? I'm happy. I'm awesome. glad you're happy. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Let's snap you out. I believe there's another person with a question. Two people coming in. Here we go. And welcome, Kate and Hannah. So you have questions for Annalisa. I think, Kate, you have the first one. How did you find the Flynn? That is a great question. I actually, there was two different ways that I found out about the Flynn. The first way was I was doing a little bit of research when I found out that I was moving to Vermont from New York City. And um, I had been working as a teaching artist, meaning that I was teaching theater and dance and musical theater in schools and in different programs. And so I wanted to keep doing that when I moved here. Yeah. And I found out that the Flynn has a teaching artist program. So I thought this is a great fit. Also, my husband grew up in Vermont and he actually took classes as a student uh, through the Flynn. And he even took classes with Thomas, who was just here. Thomas's dad was his teacher for jazz at the Flynn, which was really cool. So I found it two different ways where it was a good fit for something I wanted to be doing. And then there was also a personal connection, which was cool. Wow. Awesome. And then Hannah, yeah. you have the second one. What do you like about Vermont so far? 
I like a lot of things about <laughs> Vermont so far. <laughs> um, I love that being in Burlington, you can just walk and be right at the lake right away. You can look up and you see mountains on either side. There's just so much natural beauty all around. The air is so fresh and clean, unlike New York City. <laughs> uh, so that's really nice. The food is really good. I was just going to say that. Yeah. yeah, the food is awesome here. Uh, all the cheese and um, the butter. It's great. Uh, so there's there's a lot. What well, about love. the bread? Yeah. The oh, bread. the bread is so good. Even, um, yeah, there's so many more bakeries that are, it's great. I've um, definitely been enjoying that. And yeah, it's just a nice place to live. People are really nice, <laughs> like you guys, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, wonderful questions. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you, Hannah and Kate. We're gonna snap you out. Whoop, getting ready yep. to snap out. Here we go. Are you gonna snap? <laughs> Don't worry about, you. oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you wanna snap with the other hand? Yeah, you don't worry. To, yeah, you don't have to worry it. about your microphone. All right. And here we are with Zainab and Robin. And Zainab, I believe you have a question. How do you like working with us? <laughs> How do you like? We did like working with us. We didn't us. Thanks, Zainab. That's a great question. I love working with you guys because you are so creative. You're very curious about what's going on. And it's really fun to see how you're experiencing uh, these shows at the Flynn. And then also it's fun to, to get to play games and try out being the characters with you guys too. It's a lot of fun. Awesome, wonderful question. Yeah, you thank you. Can you snap? You can snap. So our first, our first show that we saw with the Flynn was called Ashango Ensemble. And then just recently, on November 1st, we saw Much Ado About Nothing. Prior to that, we had a pre-performance workshop with Annalisa. And we've been having so much fun working with this old text by Shakespeare. Um, and what has really made it work is Annalisa really introducing it to us and breaking it down. And I asked her if she would do a, um, I'd love for you to do a, a little recap of it. Absolutely. So as we know, in uh, many Shakespeare shows, there's a lot of things going on. And specifically in this one, there's um, comedy. There's a, a little bit of tragedy. There's uh, deceit. There is a lot of romance. So the biggest thing that we were really focusing on for people who are, are new to Shakespeare and are new to it, the language and all these different characters was just focusing on who is related to who and what is happening in between these relationships. So we made a, I made a little diagram here, and this was on our whiteboard, and Emily was nice enough to take a picture, and we've been referencing it here. But Beatrice is one of the main characters, and her cousin is Hero. And um, so these two ladies... and Zootopia and the Secret Life of Pets. Yeah, so these two ladies are cousins. And Hero and is in love with Claudio, and Claudio and Hero are set to be married. However, John is, and we'll get into that later, but John is, uh, he makes a plot to make it seem like Hero was unfaithful to Claudio, and then Hero faints at, during the wedding, and everyone else thinks that she has died. During that time, there's a lot of other things that have been happening. Claudio is, his best friend is Benedict, and he's looking for love, and Benedict finds Beatrice, falls in love. Beatrice doesn't want anything to do with him at first, and then she says, all right, this can all work out. However, you need to let Claudio know what he did is wrong. Then we find out at the end, after many different scenes have gone through, that Beatrice ends up with Benedict, Claudio ends up with Hero, and there's a big double wedding at the end and everything uh, is revealed. It's a, a great comedy and the production that we saw was a really fun, um, humorous way of looking at this great text. Yes. And it was a dramatic day. The day we saw it was November 1st, and the power November was out 1st, for a little bit in the Flynn, and we weren't sure if we were going to be able to see the show. And then it started later, and I knew all the buses were coming to pick people up and that we might have to leave the theater early. And when I looked back at everyone watching the show, <laughs> 
they did not want to leave. And so I went out and told the buses we would be just a little late. So I think that's a real testament to how this play really gripped our group, um, that they want to stay till the, the very end. So we're going to act out a couple of scenes um, just to give you a little flavor of that. And Thomas is here to sing the part of Don, Don John. Let me be that I am seek, not to alter me, William Shakespeare. Let me be. Beautiful. Yeah. And now we'll do a snap, and there will be a couple more actors coming in to perform a scene two. This is a scene where Hero, Margaret, and Beatrice are all looking at John, who is the villain in the show. All right, here we go. How tartly that gentleman looks. I never can see him, but I am heartburned an hour after. He has a, a very melancholy disposition. In this scene, we are going to see Beatrice talking to Benedict. And this is when, if we remember, she's very upset at Claudio. And so Benedict has just wooed her. There's, it's been a flirtatious scene. And then we're going to see how Beatrice actually feels. Come bid me do anything for thee. Nice, excellent. Awesome. All right, we have our final scene of Much Ado About Nothing. And I just want to introduce you to the characters. We have Beatrice right here, who ends up with Benedict. We have the priest, who is in charge during this scene. And we have Claudio over here and Hero. Now remember, we all think that Hero has died because she fainted during the, uh, the first wedding. So this is the final <laughs> wedding. And there's a big reveal. All right, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, <that's cute>. <gasps> <gasps> and when I lived, I was your other wife. And when you loved, you were my other husband. <gasps> Thank, Thank you for watching, watching our show. show. Thanks for watching our show.